everyone. Today I'm doing a Kacha product review. So first off, I'm gonna say Kacha has been one of my major sources of inspiration. I've been following her on YouTube for a bit over a year now. She's amazing. If you have not checked out her work, I definitely recommend for you to check her out. So <clears throat> she just came out with a new product line. She's got some paint and some paint brushes and wax brushes. And I just received my order. I'm gonna do a product review. So first off, I have used one of Kacha's products before. I used a gold leaf transfer. It was amazing. It was very simple, easy to work with. It came out like a dream. I'm expecting for this to be top notch product. First off, I ordered three colors. I wanted to order all of them, but I had to restrain myself. I ordered the Asuka Dusty Pink and Creme Brulee. I'm expecting this to be higher end. Like I know it's gonna be higher end paint. So in regard to higher end paint products like Annie Sloan, Dixie Belle, those types of products, this comes in less costly than those. So I suspect one of the things that Kacha did was try to create a product that is affordable so that you and I can order this and use it. And in regards to the brushes, first off, I'm gonna preface by saying I've just used cheapo Amazon brushes. I have not used any high-end like designer, furniture paint designer brushes. So this is my first go. And I'm gonna say that these are not that expensive. These brushes are, yes, more expensive than your cheapo Amazon brush, but the, I believe that they're less expensive than like fancy brushes that you can purchase. So first off, let's start off with the wax brush. This wax brush is designed to be able to get into like those little crevices that are difficult to get to with your regular bristle brush. And specific for the hard to reach places. And I'm gonna say this is a really nice soft bristle brush. Like it's firm, most definitely. These bristles are firm, but they are smooth, soft. I haven't seen them fall out. Like I've regularly seen the cheapo brushes falling out, so that's nice. Then we have our paint brush here. Again, these bristles, these are soft bristles, but firm. They're not seeming to fall out like crazy, which is so nice. And I know she designed this in specific so you can hold and paint for countless hours. <laughs> then we've got our little chip brush. This chip brush, again, I only use like the throwaway cheapo chip brushes from Home Depot. Uh, your local hardware store. But this brush, again, it's fuller than those cheapo brushes. It's firm, but soft also. And I know with the chip brush, they come in a couple of different sizes and um, they come in packs. I just ordered one to try it out and see what I think. So I'm really excited to try out these products. I already have a piece of furniture uh, in mind. So this is what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video in just a moment. Um, I'm gonna work on this project using all of these products. And I will link that video for that project in the description. You can check it out and see the process if you'd like. And um, then I'm going to come back on and tack on the second part of this video once I have used all of these products and I'm gonna give you a review. Now that I've worked with Kacha paints and brushes, I'm in love. Her products are phenomenal. And I'm not just saying that, I am a harsh critic and I have a high level of judgment for everything. So her paint is amazing. It goes on very smoothly and uh, with a little bit of water has real ease and spreadability. This paint is highly pigmented. You do not need layer after layer after layer after layer to make sure your piece is covered. Two, three coats of these lighter colors will do the trick. These colors go together so well. Honestly, I purchased them 
not realizing how beautifully they would combine. They're just perfect together. The dusty pink is just gorgeous. It reminds me of like a rose you'd find in a spring garden. Just beautiful, not a baby pink, very soft, subtle, earthy, beautiful pink. The creme brulee reminds me of the color of like bleached sand. It's gorgeous. Um, the azucar is a beautiful, nice, neutral white tone. These colors go together so well. I know she's got about nine colors out right now. I cannot wait to try them all. I cannot wait until she increases that number. I can't wait until she comes out with a black color. I have had a bit of a difficult time finding a nice black that I want to use on my pieces. I bet she's gonna come out with a beautiful black color at some point. These brushes are so nice to work with. So first off, this brush is really very nice. It's easy to hold. The spreadability is great. I uh, first started working on my piece and a couple of the bristles fell out and then it was like, that was it. It didn't need to shed any more bristles, just a couple and it did the trick. Unlike my Amazon brushes, which I'm picking off bristles of my piece the whole time I'm painting. It's so annoying. This, perfect. The chip brush is definitely a, not a cheap ass brush. <laughs> it's a nice brush. <laughs> Um, again, the bristles didn't really fall out on this at all. I had a really easy time getting into the like little nooks and crannies of my piece that I needed to get into. It painted very well. Now, the wax brush really was such a dream to work with. So the triangular shape really helped me to get into those difficult to reach areas and those little nooks and crannies that are hard to get to but you need to protect. So this was great to work with. And again, like the bristles are just so nice, easy to clean, excellent product. So I'm biased because I freaking love Katja. She's an amazing artist. I've learned so much from watching her tutorials. I highly suggest to check her work out. She's such an inspiration. She's amazing. I'm so, so glad she's increasing her product line. She's already got her transfers out. Now she's coming out with her paint, her brushes. I see this woman just as a powerhouse. I'm so happy that she has created this phenomenal line of paint, these amazing brushes, and that she's sharing them with you and with me so that we can play with paint and make amazing creations. I cannot wait to order more of Katja's paint and products. She has done an amazing job with this paint. This is gonna be one of my go-to paints from here on out. If you'd like to see the video in which I use all these products, I'm gonna link it in the description below and you're welcome to check it out. Let me know in the comment section below if you've used any of these products, if you've used Katja's transfer paper, have you used anything that she's put out what do you think? I'd love to hear your opinion. I hope this video was informative and helps you to choose a paint that will work best for you. I highly recommend these products. If you can get your hands on them, I would do that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.